Hey everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem, I'm Wandering Kid. In this episode, we'll be taking on a most unfortunate malfunction. Now, there are no statistics, if you look on the left, uh, for the performance on this board, and that's because it's the equivalent of a boss board for Space Chem, and it's the first one you're going to run into. And in this case, training and story will occur. This introduces storage tanks. Storage tanks can hold molecules until the next reactor can accept them. Basically, it's a very large bump in your pipeline while hanging on to things. In the story, what's happened is, is one of the local drilling machines has gone on a rampage, and we're going to have to try and slow it down, if not stop it cold. And what this is telling you is the storage tank is actually a makeshift weapon. Watch for instructions on how to use them. The, uh, the new reactor control we're getting is a branch control, which allows us during runtime, usually you can't affect anything in flow of the game, but during runtime, this will let you switch where your Waldos are going to go run off to. And this progress meter, usually you want to fill it up, you don't want it to empty out. And here we are. Okay. So our objective is to fill these tanks with methane while this giant drilling machine is going by to try and blow out its wheels. We can have up to three reactors. We can even put in an extra storage tank if we need to. And we're going to, let me show you what we're looking at here. The key is this control. Let's put one on screen. So we've got control A and control B, control C, control D. These map to F1 through F4 on your keyboard, and you'll be able to change things during runtime. Let me show you how that's supposed to look. So let's say I just build a big old circle here. And I put a control A here, and I flip it down. And now I can send it into a different loop. So if I start this up, you'll notice it's just going in a loop. And when I hit F1, now it goes in the other loop. Okay. So now you understand how these things work. Here's your hints for the board. So hint one. You are going to need a reactor per storage tank to make sure that you can control when they fill up to explode. Okay, so we know what we we know we want to send methane to each of these three components, and we're also going to probably want to send it somewhere else. So let's start with the easy. Why can't I put you here? Let's bring you back a little. There we go. Whoops. There we go. So we've laid out our reactors, and our reactors are basically going to do the exact same thing depending on what command I give it. And in this case, we're also going to use being able to save a reactor. So here, let me show you what's going, what we're going to do here. So we've got methane. Under most circumstances, we're going to want to ship it this way, unless we're shipping it up. Which means I probably have this piped into the wrong location. So let's bring this down one. Because of the way I'm using the pipes, I only want to go up as my exception. So there we go. So under most circumstances, we're going to do an in, a drop, a drop, and an out. However, when I hit, let's use, I want to do F1 for the beginning, walking backwards. So I'm going to make this F3. If it's F3, I'm going to send it up here, do a grab drop, um, and we'll do an out on Psy instead, and it will come around. Now, because I'm going to want things going relatively quickly, 
I'm going to tell red pick and start as soon as blue is clear. And I'm going to have red play follow the leader. Actually, let's see if I can do, do a new trick. Excuse me, start. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy blue and then try and paste it as red. Okay, hang on. Copy. Ah, that won't work. All right, worth a shot. All right, let me set this up. Let's just make sure I did that right. I did not. I did the wrong in down here. That needs to be an in on beta. Perfect. So until this goes out, this saint won't release. And if I hit F3, we'll ship up to the storage tank. Excellent. Okay, so we've got that set up. Now, we save this to toolbox. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it Exploder because it makes life easier. So now what I'm going to do is this. So it's literally copied the design and saved it. So now all I gotta do is set this to my F2 key. And I'm actually going to want to start off going up. So I'm going to turn these this way. I'm gonna set that to F1. But normally it will come up here towards the explorer. This should be relatively easy. All right, let's watch this in faction. So that blew out one tire. Now I'm gonna blow out the next tire. And now we're gonna blow out the next tire. You don't really need this storage tank, actually. That was kind of a waste. I never actually used it. But really, that's almost an introduction level to using the uh, runtime changes. You'll need them for other boss fights later. So we've been promoted to Reaction Engineer 2. That's the uh, end of that particular mission. And we get transferred to Alkanops, where we will get an introduction to sensing for our next action. So, most unfortunate malfunction complete, Alkanops. Our next one is an introduction to sensing. And that will be our next episode. That one may be quick enough that we do two or three in our next episode. We'll see how they go out. But in the meanwhile, as always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, please leave a like or a comment. They're always appreciated. And I'll see you next time.